From my early days, I was on a small farm. We had 20 acres of orchard and there was always birds coming to the orchard and I learned a lot about birds then. Ever since then, everywhere I've been, I'm interested in what birds are about. I've been in Mallacoota since the late 70s. I was impressed by the surrounding bush and spent plenty of time doing bird surveys. I've been doing those for about 40 years, really. The second day after the fire hit Mallacoota that I met somebody in town and they said, oh, there's a lot of dead birds on the beach. So I didn't waste much time getting down there. Went to Bastion Point and walked only half a kilometre along the beach. There were dead birds everywhere and heaps of blackened leaves that had come from the forest during the fire spread all along the beach up to a metre and a half high, a lot of it. And all these bodies, I could recognise most of them well, it was everything from kookaburras, yellow-tailed cockatoos, lots of New Holland honey eaters, crimson rosellas and rainbow lorikeets. They were overcome by heat and smoke and thought they were escaping it. They would have just dropped from the sky. I'd seen enough after about an hour, which was pretty sad. During these surveys of six habitats in this area, over the last few years, the numbers of birds are well down. And I put that down to climate change, drying out the bush and less insects. So climate change is the big killer and has to be addressed. Without birds, the forest would be dead, like it is at the moment in a lot of cases because uh, birds brighten it. They're quite entertaining and colourful. Just think of uh, life without birds. More power to the birds, I say.